So listen, I'm going to jump right on off into this reading. And this is what I was hearing. Somebody is trying to creep. They crept through the door, though. But you ain't know who they were when they was creeping through the door. But it was the conversation that y'all had that would have some telltale signs, some key clues, you know, locations, states and shit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who, you know, was trying to mimic your energy and you ain't even know it because they ain't even know it was really you that they was going to be meeting who the hell that they was trying to become because they have been told so much about you, you know, whoever the fuck it is that they dealing with y'all, they are still stuck on you. They still in love with you when they trying to get over you and they can't. They can't get over this hump. It's something that happened Wednesday. It's what the G's are saying, too, when it comes to your kingdom spouse, sugar book. 55, I'm seeing on the clock, y'all. 55, I'm seeing on the clock, and I'm about to come and go to it because I'm hearing they got something to do with the chosen one. It got something to do with the chosen one and somebody feeling as though, you know, they, they you know, they need to change for you. Angel number 55 in this angel number book says change. Things will look different. When you ask for what you want, your angels deliver. And that time is on its way. You are being told that your intentions are being taken seriously. Lie in meditation with your hands over your root chakra, the base of the spine, and repeat this mantra. I am ready for what's next. And please recognize, analyze, and realize, y'all, it's about to be something that's about to happen in your personal realm of being that's gonna kind of like have you what the fuck part of the game is this mm -hmm. if you don't like a lot of cussing you might want to go on and you know put the off of this reading if you can rock it with me out the gate you know sometimes i can become overly emotionally charged pissed you know happy with you i'm crying and i just want everybody you know to not have to deal with the fuck bullying and fuck real shit because somebody you don't want to be at front Mm-hmm. They've been, they been monitoring you. They were sent by somebody, too. You know, you was a thorn in somebody's ass. I heard it was gang-related, too. Somebody could be gang-related. You, you've been on the lookout on high alert. Your spiritual team has had you on the lookout for some sort of package, a package deal or some shit like that as well. I don't know if you're traveling, but this has already... You know, ran across your mind, ran across your mind. Like I just be will be damned. You you are not the person, or you the person. You know, somebody. You know, was made a third party. Something you got cheated on. Somebody, you know, broke your heart. And the person that they was dealing with, you you just hobnob with them. You hobnob with them. They having a long distance relationship. Three times, three times, three times, three. Whatever negativity you sense to me goes back to the three times, three times, three times, three. Oh, pudding pops is what I just... <laughs> <laughs> pudding pops, fiddlesticks, fiddlesticks. Mm, I heard, too, that somebody got a box plastic surgery. Somebody's booty ain't real. It is all made up. It is all made up just like what they made up of. They claiming to be sugar and spice and everything nice, but this motherfucker is a thief, an energy harvester. You know, they want to be somebody's doppelganger, but they ain't got enough polishes with the G's and saying, you have great value when it comes to you, period. You, your presence, you know what I'm saying? When you enter a room, you changing the goddamn on energy and people look to you for advice. People look up to you. People love you. You know what I'm saying? You get along with folks and shit. But somebody went through your motherfucking wallet. You hear me? Somebody went through your wallet. They cut us off some credit cards and took pictures of your credit cards and shit, your, your ID, your driver's license, your social security number. Went in your purse, went in your wallet, take it, how it resonates. But Jesus saying that, you know, they trying to wave the American flag, talking about, you know, they trying to live an ignorant free life. But we know America ain't trying to live no ignorant free life. Hello? But it's supposed to be united. We stand and divided. We fall. Maybe, you know, it's a front for a sisterhood or a brotherhood. The G's want you to be on high motherfucking alert. 
you could be getting a pedicure or thinking about getting a pedicure, but you probably need to, you know, switch locations because I'm feeling like that. Just like somebody trying to come at you like their hands is clean, this nail spot, you know what I'm saying? It could be full of fungus, you know, fungal row is what I'm hearing. Fungal row. Somebody, you know, got some thrush in their mouth too. They got some, some fungus in their mouth is what the Jesus is saying. They want you to know about that motherfucking shit. Damn. So when it comes to you having a reserved seat, you know, you have a reserved seat. Somebody is reserving a seat for you. Your spiritual team most definitely wants you to see this shit. So we about to see what's going on real quick. Shit, this is going to be a blackout reading, y'all. But y'all y'all take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Give the video a thumbs up, like share comment i appreciate all y'all being here we are most definitely protected in this reading we ain't going down no shit brick rose we ain't coming up against no conflicting uh situations no people who want to do no harm to us or, or these people who don't have any spiritual value who trying to motherfucking dim our life we ain't about to do that neither somebody trying to copy us off of you you could be it's, i heard again y'all i'm hearing plagiarism and shit you can't say whatever. You can't wave a middle finger and be like, no, they just reworded some shit. No. That motherfucker's trying to come up off your motherfucking platform is what the G's are saying and shit. So, your sex game is fire. You quit dealing with somebody. You know what I'm saying? You're not having sexual relations with them. You didn't, you know, you didn't just, you know, pull them up out of your energy and they pull out game is weak is what the G's are saying. They pull out game was weak, but you pulled them up out of your energy. Now, somebody's mother, somebody's aunt, somebody's stepmother with long hair. Um, they could live uh, near you or they could be um, in the city near you. They could be in the same home. But when it comes to restoring some healthy boundaries, when it comes to this person who was at a distance from you, who was longing to be near you, right? It's a blessing of, that you could have been expecting to be closed out this year, like a cycle closing is what I'm hearing. Um, behavioral differences and behavioral norms, um, adjustments to attitudes and shit. You having to stay home is what I'm hearing. That's what you need to do, stay home. If you was thinking about going to your mamas or your aunts or your stepmothers, stay home. You in your winning season, and you, you, you got to be true to your soul's mission. You got to be accompanied by people who um, are thriving to um, climb this spiritual ladder is what the Jesus is saying. Climb this spiritual ladder because this ladder is about taking the heights and, you know, not believing the hype. When it comes to cussing and lying and killing and theft and sex and all that other shit, somebody is see-through and you shouldn't believe they motherfucking ass. You hear me? You shouldn't believe them. Yeah, they it, they got on some new clothes, you know. You, you could have been thinking about, you know, redoing your wardrobe. I'm seeing... When it comes to um, you closing um, closing your closet, you could be changing your clothes out, your wardrobe as well. I'm seeing um, some Scorpio energy, and I'm also seeing this rape card that's making me feel like, you know, whoever it is that you deal with, that you know, they they not sanctified, and they you, you should be able to see through whatever motherfucking game they're trying to play with you. Um Somebody coked up and doped up. You hear me? They had undercover drug addict. And I'm feeling like you in good health. Um, especially when it comes to, you know, these inappropriate behaviors, immoral behaviors, you know, being a, being a freak, you know? Different drugs have you doing different things. And I'm hearing something when it comes to a sexual favor that's haunting somebody. They feel like, you know, they was taken advantage of. Um, somebody been gaslighting you, gassing you up as well, gassing you up, trying, you know, talking about they, they didn't hurt you, they didn't take advantage of you. And when it comes to gas, I'm seeing this carbon monoxide, and I'm also seeing some air signs and water signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
Scorpio, as I see the Scorpio card, um, Pisces, excuse me, and Cancer. It's supposed to be safe in the home, right? But it's a warrant that's been issued because of this conflicting ass energy. You know, you can't put your, you can't walk a mile in somebody's shoes until you live by the experiences that they've had to deal with and that they ha they had to protect themselves from and they never told you about. You can believe in what you want to, but you need to align yourself to some thoughts that the G's have been, you know, trying to get you ready for. Threes could be following you. I'm seeing 33, 33. I'm also seeing 333. Letting go of fears and worries and staying encouraged that you're making the correct choices that are essential for your prominent changes. 333 ascending. That's, you know, that goes with that ladder. Taking the high road and um, rising above some bullshit. You ready for that. You already embarked on a spiritual journey. You started that already. And you know that your angel's been helping you. And somebody is playing devil's advocate around this motherfucker. And the cheese wants you to stop acting like you know you're not intuitively aware. Stop hiding your talents. Let your inner voice, that GPS system, your God-given built-in GPS system direct and guide you into the right direction. Don't let no goddamn mistakes hold you back because there's been a lot of changes. Changes, you know what I'm saying? People have been trying to have you in entanglements and you ain't been able to move along. You know what I'm saying? You ain't been able to close out these cycles and quit fucking with these people and cut them off completely and make your cutoff game mean something. There's been too many karmic lessons in your life, let alone, you know, with these connections. And these connections are meant to make you stuck. Somebody trying to make you believe, you know, that they can affirm that, you know, they've evolved, you know, it's, it's something about, you know, the social media, something was going on with social media, subliminal messages and shit, it's a strong social media presence about, you know, some money, about, you know, somebody could be, you know, posting about money affirmations, this, this attitude and the adjustment of, the adjustments of um, earnings is what I'm hearing, and somebody need to re-earn a trust with you. So with these money affirmations, you can have a vision board, okay? My money affirmation card reads, I am focused in achieving money happiness. I have a positive attitude about money, prosperous thoughts only. I am rich with wealth, health, love, joy, happiness, and abundance in all areas. You know what I'm saying? You could have been repeating these mantras. You have can been, you could have been, you know, um, building up those frequencies and just, you know, building yourself up to attain those possibilities to ride those wavelengths, you know, coming up out of the depression spells and noticing, you know, um, this should have, would have, could have energy, you know, okay, I'll leave them alone. But then they come back with this different energy, they attitudes and change. And you was like, damn, you know, okay, let, let's see. But no, they mentally drain them, you, and they've been hiding some fucked off ass, um, information because it's, it, it's it's liable to piss you off you know when it comes to this codependency and them having this undercover uh drug habit is also you know some health issues that they had and you know you know and it's like they they trying to meet you at the worst part of they chapter and starting to Trying to, it's like they're trying to initiate, you know, a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Like they LL Cool J. They swear they swab, you know. Y'all are extremely passionate for one another. And this relationship, you know, was, was built on a faulty foundation. Somebody in their early 30s, um, ranges from 30 to 40. And when it comes to, you know, the difficulties that, you know, has torn y'all apart, you know, it's also have brought y'all back together because it's like y'all misconstrue information when it comes to these arguments because there's been a lot of patterns. And when it comes to, you know, the lust and, you know, being, you know, turned out and nose being wide open, I'm seeing the earth sign dealing with the fire sign as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So, with this air sign dealing with this water, water sign, this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius dealing with this Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, somebody got long hair, somebody 
also talking about long hair faggot with this um warrant that's been issued you know with some it's some spiritual lessons that's been everywhere and the connection that's being felt right now is like you know or it should be because it's like you know you, you've had to disengage and become you know you feeling like you unworthy in this connection and that's just a goddamn lie is what the genius is saying when it comes to your house and you being safe, I feel like somebody got some extra keys, an extra set of keys. They've been stalking. They've been paying attention to your comings and goings. You know what I'm saying? You can have, you know, parts of your window where they can look in and shit, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Safety first. Let's think about safety first and think about chirping your car and shit. You know what I'm saying? Chirping your car. Chirping your car. Somebody could be trying to tag your car, too. You hear me trying to put a boot on it. Somebody traveling a long distance as well. Somebody's on the west side or the west coast, and it's like they're trying to stay focused and be realistic about this next this next um, move that they're trying to make in their life. And when it comes to their belief system and their safety net and how they're trying to network, um, these karmic relationships are they're not dying down. It's like you know. You fall out with them and shit. They piss you off, and then you you you, you know you run back to the mess. Is what I'm hearing. It's, and this and it's been a mess that's made. You know when it comes to your to your senses. You know what I'm saying? To your senses. It's yeah, your senses. It's like you know some shit don't make sense, and it it, it just really don't make sense. And you know that it's some deception within the connection, but. Trying to, you know, be mature about it. Not trying to make no waves in the connection. Don't want to upset nobody. Um, but I'm seeing a, a Capricorn energy or some something that happened, um, you know, that you don't know about. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you don't know about this. And somebody, you know, else knows about it. And they... They've been trying to protect themselves and they've been trying to protect everybody else too. You gotta quit fucking with this motherfucker because somebody look. I got the phone on the charger. That's why it's on the blackout. But you saw that somebody HIV positive. They tested positive. Um, and of course, you know some. That'll make somebody spiral out of motherfucking control. And and these arguments have come from these new health guidelines. And also, um, somebody has been a, a hypochondriac because of, um, you know, they didn't know if they, they willingly had sex or if, you know, somebody took it from them. For real, because of these drugs that was being used, somebody um smoked black and miles too, and I'm 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 seeing this hospital stay. Something questionable when it comes to a toddler. It's some negative energy. It's affecting the destined path. Protein, right? Somebody is not a carnivore. They do not like to eat meat. And I'm seeing these multiple jobs that, um, these multiple jobs, right? These multiple jobs was a, a lifestyle choice. But what is also very much so important outside of, um, this business, um, these, this, this, how you get your money is, is, is this child, right? There's also a cause for these karmic relationships, okay? It is. It's a cause for these karmic relationships, and it is to recognize, analyze, and realize what's most important. Most definitely your health, okay? Most definitely your health, but these worries, right? And making the correct choices, acting like you have evolved, you have climbed this ladder, and you, you have had some some upgrades in your intuition and somebody is trying to play you like you a fool. 
you didn't receive messages from your ancestors and your spiritual team, and they've been telling you to listen about this game God that was gonna try to humble you and trigger you, and you don't have you repeating these harsh lessons in your life. And these lessons could lead to this HIV unless you know this January 2024 is when somebody realized that they were HIV positive. It's some more lessons that's coming in the near future. The G said recognizing, analyzing, and realizing that it's time now for this new relationship, this new friendship to be exposed. It has to be exposed. This this HIV positive has to be exposed. Um, somebody is being forced to be guided by their spiritual awareness, their their intuition, and to destroy what has been out of alignment within their system, within their um, within their um, sexual healing, their sexual dealings, these romantic relationships, past, present, and future. They trying to clean some shit up. You hear me? They trying to clean some shit up. They trying to make sure you know this 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 information is is not. Um, in the wrong hands, or they trying to convey it, you know, on uh, delicately. Um, somebody could be cleaning their house, but they show enough trying to create um, some ambiance and be creative, you know, set the set the mood too. Somebody fresh out of that motherfucking penitentiary, though. Who is that? Sagittarius energy. Don't rush the process, Sagittarius. It takes time to build. Can't rush into no motherfucking relationships with nobody who done did five years and better. We don't know what they be doing behind them bars. And then when you coming from behind the bars and getting into this free world, you don't know what these women out here doing and what's in them dark, damp places, goddammit. How long would you mourn me, right? Tupac. I wish it was another. I heard another level. How long will you mourn me? The recent death of someone. Somebody got a fake page and they've been stalking like a motherfucker. You hear me? Take your location off is what I'm hearing because somebody got some VPN and, and IP addresses and shit. They, they able to hack some shit. They able to hack some shit. This is somebody who you no longer get along with. You know what I'm saying? And it could be because, you know, they was a chronic cheater. And because they had these undercover drug um, addictions that you didn't know nothing about, but you were seeing telltale signs or something. Somebody educated you on, you know, the, the goddamn signs and the symptoms and shit and how they act, they behave, inappropriate ass behaviors, right? So, reconcile what? Y'all can't get along. Can't get along. And somebody dealing with the same sex. So when it comes to your beliefs and somebody trying to teach you something different, you know, you form these religious beliefs, you know, and you research them and it helped to harmonize you. It helped to bring a wholeness to you. Um, you're whole by yourself is what the Jesus is saying. Don't let nobody influence you to take them back and they done been, you know, up Bubba the Butt Slayer's butt and, you know, and Susie Q's Kulu. Hell no, they around here, you know, slanging it everywhere or sitting it everywhere. And you didn't already have it, you know. It's like somebody was stretched out. Somebody was stretched out on a slab, you know what I'm saying? Somebody laid slabs, they go that vehicular homicide. I wanted to say stupid motherfucker. Yeah, that's back up, huh? So this is the person, you know, that you was about to, that, that you was with, <clears throat> is what I'm hearing. It was a very magnetic energy that y'all experienced at first is what I'm seeing. <clears throat> but then you start going through depression spells, not uh, really paying attention to how negative this connection was. And it was a karmic influence. You know what I'm saying? Um, trying to, you know, actually create the good in your life. And... <clears throat> Trying to be divine, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be divine, but trying to, you know, get it how you live too. And it's it's, it's been some challenges that you had to face that had to put you on a on a different ball game, is what I'm hearing. And when it comes to getting it how you live, 
something with a Gemini and this June and some, some government funding when it comes to this man. Um, he could look like a Chester Chester child molester right now and cut off all his beard and mustache. Keep going is what the Jesus, is what he said, right? <clears throat> Keep going. <clears throat> that vehicular homicide. Keep going. Mm. On one hand, it's the love of this man. The other hand, it's the love of your kids. Which one you gonna pick? Spirit already guided you to the choice at hand. You already got a spiritual warrant, you know, for abandoning your children and your family for another deadbeat who don't lack the parental skills, but you're taking advice from them on how to discipline your children and what to buy them and what type of food to give them and shit, right? This person don't value nothing but money. They're deadbeat. And it's like, you got to supervise them. They know other motherfucking child. Shit. What's going on with your brother? Your female ancestors is on some shit when it comes to you and your family. You know what I'm saying? How you putting your family up under the bus. You know, you throwing them up under the motherfucking bus, not caring how they feel emotionally, what's going on with them, what they lacking, what they hacking. You hear me? Mm, what they lacking and what they hacking. What was supposed to end would take a bit longer. The cycle continues, okay? You are already in a peak game on what's holding you back and how it was holding you back, right? You done went through somebody's phone. You got the information that you wanted, and you you gained some clarity. Somebody is in an interracial relationship, right? <clears throat> Scorpio South Node, Taurus North Node. This lifetime requires work. You are privileged in your last being political and working behind the scenes. Now is the time in this lifetime that you earn your keep in public positions. This is somebody who, you know, in the past, when you when you started messing with them, you thought they was a go-getter. They showed you differently, but you could be this go-getter and you could have these, these placements in your chart. But when it comes to your recent ex, you know what I'm saying? I'm hearing Dear Michael was like a Dear John letter. Somebody named could be David as well. And when it comes to, okay, 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 a little scrappy, it's a fight. It's a fight. It's a fight. It's a battle. It's been a battle in the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? And your capabilities <clears throat> of manifesting everything for your highest good because you've already been enlightened about it, you know, about what guidance to follow. And don't let nobody trip you up on your spiritual beliefs for knock it head. I was about to call you a tack head. But knock it head, you got to concentrate your thoughts on, on staying positive, traveling into your north node only. You could be seeing ones as well. Your ascended masters, your heavenly creator, your ancestors, spiritual team, your angels, they have been sending you so many signs when it comes to these fresh starts and new beginnings and your spiritual potential when it comes to your intuition and your daydreams and who it is that you be daydreaming and about and you know you got a connection with this person this person is returning but get this your ancestors your female ancestors your ancestors who are guided by the highest of the white lights and your ancestors who don't play the motherfucking games and would get down and dirty and go to hades been cooking up some shit behind the scenes you hear me they not of the highest white light there is a witch in your energy as well. There is a witch in your energy, a kitchen witch. Herbs and spices and everything nicest could be delivering you um, a protection um, satchel or bag is what I'm hearing or giving you some information on how to protect yourself and dress your candles, you know, get your spiritual protection together. You could have ordered some boots or something, some 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 winter gear. I see these new shoes, new outfits, you know, ordering stuff um, out of season, you know what I'm saying, off season rather. When it comes to your tradition, you know, and your religious beliefs, you know, with some shit that you need to keep private. There's a lot of shit that's private when it comes to this West Coast, when it comes to the West Side. I'm seeing March. <clears throat> I'm seeing March. Okay, that could be um, some Pisces energy or that can be some Aries energy, but it's some private affairs that's been going on and somebody been trying to keep it on the hush. Somebody, you know, want to be very controlling and I'm, I'm seeing that you, you know, you the ruler of yourself, right? So you think so, but most high God runs this. Recognize, analyze, and believe that. And these opportunities and these possibilities that you have, you know, about you learning from, you know, what has failed you in the past and not repeating these lessons, 
you 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 got something coming when 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 the summer starts. You got somebody coming and shit. Instead of you coming all the time to Jesus saying you need to keep your your sex to yourself. Stay in the house, quit kicking it. <clears throat> I'm seeing this food card, you know, and with that, you know, expecting to close out blessings this year is a plan and it's a goal that you have and that's the want for nothing and to keep winning. So be very observant, okay? Somebody an opportunist. And they have taken the opportunity to bend the corner a few times before they, you know, they came back to your doorstep. When it comes to assignments, <laughs> this assignment is over. Why is it so hard to let go? 48 laws of power. Law 29. Plan all the way to the very end. Take into account everything. Everything that you said. Everything. That law there, when it comes to reunions and, and irreconcilable differences, is what I'm seeing. I don't know what's what's been um planned, you know, when it comes <clears throat> to the closing of this year. What's what's been planned when it comes to the summer? It's some consequences though, you know. You know who your enemies are. They didn't already done planned out. You know who it is that'll leave you for dead too. I don't like this motherfucking rape card. You hear me? I do not like it. The ending is everything. You've been through some obstacles already. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have all these hard times when it comes to this person. Man. When it comes to this person is what I'm saying. <clears throat> and it was new. This was some new shit, right? You working hard for the money. You've been, you know, Upset about a lot with these depression and crying spells. Your spiritual team, of course they know about what's going on. They know about the circumstances at hand. But they want you to think about your future and know that you ready. Know that you ready for these goddamn don't changes. And you know what these changes are declining some offers and saying no to these reunions. <clears throat> when it comes to game, right? When it comes to game, that can be what it is that you trying to obtain, what it is that you trying to, you know, build an empire, what it is, you know, and, and, and somebody else want to build an empire, but it's different from what's, what's properly aligned in your life. You know what I'm saying? Your Jesus destroying what's out of alignment in your MF in life. It's time to collect. Is what the G's are saying. It's time to collect. Yes, a lot of messages lining up from spirit. You know, a lot of messages. Um, When it comes to some star energy, Aquarius energy, right? The celestial lineup when it comes to your spirituality. Your spirituality is must become your purpose and connecting to the divine and transcending as you embody the star energy should inspire you is what I'm hearing. It, that could be someone who was already in your energy, somebody who has been very influential could possibly be this practice in which Glenda the good witch. But I'm here, you know, it's a witch out here <clears throat> who was praying that um they don't know that they have not been a blessing in this universe to you, but there's this practice in which Glenda, though, the good witch, that you need to be optimistic about. It's a lot I'm hearing when it comes to a renewal, when it comes to the future, when it comes to 
your spirituality and when it comes to this motherfucking goddamn gone slumlord, somebody about to move and your capabilities, you've expressed that. You've walked that. You know what I'm saying? You have the power to change what is out of alignment in your life. Pisces, South Node, Virgo, North Node, believing is sin. Huh? Is that, what, what is it that you've seen? That you then you know, just, it just naturally, just intuitively came to you. Okay? That's what this Pisces North Node, I mean, excuse me. This, a Pisces North Node is about that. It is. A Pisces North Node is about intuitively being able to view somebody for what is for what they're worth reading this energy for what it's worth too but right now it's like being empathetic and this star energy right being an inspiration that goes with this south node as well and pisces it's about you know being empathetic and Placing yourself in somebody's shoes when it comes to karma, okay? When it comes to karma, because it's, it's most definitely some karma being experienced and it's in the charts. It's, it's meant to give you a boost of energy. It's meant to, you know, make you know that these lessons that you have learned this lifetime was meant. And something about the bad neck condition. And the lift node, like right there in the crease of the hairline, being swollen. Focus a little bit too much on perfecting this relationship when knowing that you know your hard work has not been paying off, is what I'm seeing. So, what's represented now is your soul moving on is what I'm hearing because your soul is tired. Somebody's soul to move on because somebody's soul is tired. When I just saw that, how long will you mourn me card? Last Sunday, right? A predator moved into the area. Last Sunday, right? A predator just happened to walk by and, you know, saw your silhouette in the goddamn gone um, uh, blinds or something. You've been being private and moving in silence, but somebody needs to know your whereabouts, sweetheart. I don't know who this message is for, but I send you love, peace, and blessings. You want some grown, sex, grown and sexy shit, right? I'm hearing, you know, for my ladies, it could be a little too revealing. And you know, these, these preverts out here, these perverts, these sexual predators, that's what, you know, yeah, that's, that's what excites them. That is... What excites them? And the G says something about your personal finances and you 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 um knowing the value of yourself, you know, your worth <clears throat> when it comes to what's in your birth chart too. It's it's the role that material possessions and money plays in your life. That's how you, you, you make yourself feel secure is what the G's is saying. I'm also seeing when it comes to your worth, you connect that to your material possessions and that's idolatry. You hear me? That is idolatry and that is a sin. It's time to clear the sin up is what the G is saying. You cannot politicize and brandish, I'm hearing. You can't make somebody feel like they smaller than the ant just because, you know, you able to do some shit that they not able to do. Your spiritual team wants you to know that you got a decision that you got to make and only at this present point of time I'm seeing is this suburban living and this out the way life going to be your focus. It's time to connect emotionally with those around you and address some shit you know that's been upsetting you was what I'm hearing. 
So, striving to do your very best and create some balance. You need people around you who on that same, on that same, on that same, on, on it. You hear me? Are they on it with you? What is it that you imagining when it comes to their devotion? They not your strongest match, baby, but you know who is, right? They, You know who your strongest match is. Somebody who you worshipped in the past, right? This that same mother freaking demon is what the G's is saying. That same demon. Um. Oh my goodness. You know what I just heard? When it comes to somebody respecting you, you hear me? When it comes to this person respecting you, they don't really have you in the highest esteem, you know? I'm seeing too. Hmm. They're scorned. They praise you when it's beneficial. 